Hi, welcome back to Homeschool Life. I'm Paula, and one of the things that I love about homeschooling is the community. So that's what we're here for, to provide a place for you, for conversations where you can learn and grow and share and be encouraged. From curriculum and how-tos, to tips and tricks, to day-to-day -day lifestyle and more. So today, we're gonna to be talking about classical teaching style. So classical is just one of several teaching styles. Like the traditional approach, it systematically covers each subject. There's plenty of hands-on activities and multimedia experiences. It's very much parent-teacher taught, all grades. However, your older children will be learning more independently. You will typically have a six to eight hour school day and follow a daily time schedule and with a formal weekly plan. There is a definite standardized progression through the different levels. And so there is a template that you follow with clear steps. It's very structured teaching and learning. You just follow the program. Classical approach considers that kids learn best when they're taught at the right timing. So it's based off of childhood developmental stages and they call this the trivium. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So here's some differences. With classical, the classical approach, <clears throat> it uses real living books and workbooks. So what is a real living book? So that is a book that is written in a conversational or narrative style. So it draws the reader in more, it involves the emotions, and the theory is that it helps you to retain and learn better. With classical, there is a lot of exploring and reading and thinking and talking and discovery. The lifestyle for most classical families is that the classes are mostly taught at home. However, one to two times a week, you'll go to a local co-op uh, type of formal classrooms, and those are called forums or communities. And that's where your children will get to sit and they'll be in more of a classroom environment. And sometimes they'll be learning all ages together and sometimes it will be broken up. Then there's also optional online academies. And for the parents, the, the classrooms and the online gives you lots of support as well. Now, the classical method is very rich and engaging education. So don't be scared. I was quite frightened when I first started discovering the classical approach, and I thought there's no way this is not for me. I'm not smart enough. <clears throat> but it is a very, very rich, engaging um, education, and because it's so structured, it's easy to follow, and you'll get to learn as you and grow as you teach your children as well. So, um, what else can I tell you? Classical is a very scholarly approach, okay? This started way back in the Middle Ages with ancient Greece and Rome. Um, and here's some things you'll be teaching, okay? You'll be teaching um, traditional liberal arts and humanities. You'll be teaching in-depth studies of great works, and I'll show you um, some curriculum here in just a minute. So history and literature, you'll really be getting deep into that. Um, the Western Christian civilization and Latin, um, languages of all kinds, um, math, science, and music. You'll teach critical thinking skills on all levels. You'll teach your children how to behave in an acceptable and proper way in order to contribute to society. You will teach according to the trivium that I mentioned before, and here we're going to talk about those. So there's three stages in the trivium, all right? You've got your grammar stage. So this is generally your elementary age children. And this is where they're learning how to learn. They're learning their three R's. So reading, writing, and arithmetic. Um, there's a lot of observation and listening and memorization skills. In the next stage, that is called the logic or sometimes called the dialectic stage. And that is your middle school age primarily. So this is um, an, a stage of investigating and reasoning. There will be a lot of informal and formal discussions and debates. Um, your children will learn how to think analytically. 
and how to communicate and support their ideas and their thoughts and their beliefs with facts. Um, there will be a lot of essays, uh, study in theology, and sometimes Greek and Hebrew. Now, your third stage is called rhetoric, and this is for your high school age kids. So this is where the more independent self-learning comes in. There will be deeper discussions um, with intellectual understanding, persuasive speaking, and effective writing with knowledge and authority. Um, classical method teaches students how to think for themselves, how to express themselves appropriately and accurately, and to practice virtuous behavior. There are high language skills and the ability to reason so that they can become effective communicators with solid arguments. <clears throat> so classical taught children learn to love to learn and they carry this on into adulthood. This is a very enriching and exciting education style. So what kind of curricula do you use for classical teaching method? All right, I'm gonna just share with you a few. I pulled a few things here for you. We'll come over here to Memorial Press. So one of the nice things about classical teaching is that it very much, um, there's a thread of its cross curricula, no matter what you're studying. So for instance, here is uh, Memorial Press and here is Copybook Cursive and here is cursive practice sheets. And so within the copybook cursive, there is scripture and poems. So they're going to be getting more than just um, copying just something to copy. Another example would be in classical conversations. Um, this is prescripts. So this is cursive words and drawing. And this one is math terms. So all their different sentences are going to be something related to math. And then this other one, prescripts, cursive sentences, and art lessons. This is medieval to modern world history. So again, as they're copying and practicing their handwriting, they're going to be um, writing out history documents and notes from um, history lessons. And so they're getting that cross-curricula um, thread going. Now back to Memora Press. Um, I mentioned Latin. You're going to be teaching Latin and there's lots of different curriculum out there to help you to teach Latin. You don't have to know the Latin. There are CDs and there are DVDs and CD-ROMs to help you with all of that, as well as those in-classroom classes. And so this is first year Henley Latin. Um, you've got the teacher manual and you've got the um, student books over here, <laughs> grammar Latin and first year Latin. And then there's second year Latin and third year Latin as well. And then Memora Press to start out your children, your young children, you have Prima Latina. And so here's one of these language CDs that I was telling you about. And then you've got your student book and your teacher manual as well. So don't let classical approach overwhelm you or make you think like I did at the beginning that this is gonna to be too hard, I can't do this because once I got into this, it was very, very rewarding for both my kids and myself. <clears throat> now, another example I have for you. Here is, uh, this is Classical Conversations. And so this is words aptly spoken, and this is British literature, and then American literature. And they're going to be studying the actual original documents and poems and stories. Um, so it's very rich in the material, classical approaches. And then over here, I've got some classical academic press. So this is um, Song School Latin. And again, you've got somewhere in here, there it is at the back. You've got your CD to help you with this. So here's Latin and uh, there's also Spanish and there's other languages as well. And so then here is uh, writing and rhetoric. Um, this is book one, Fable. 
And here's book one fable, uh, the teacher's edition as well. And then of course, throughout, you're going to have your Bible taught throughout all of your different subjects, but then you can teach it separately as well. So here we have New Testament and Old Testament, God's great covenant. And this one would be for younger children. So again, there is curricula written for all grades, all ages, starting from the beginning to graduation. And um, it's a very good education for your children if you choose this one, if it fits your family right. And so a uh, couple of resources that I have for you. Classical Christian, Classical Christian Education Made Approachable. And this is just a quick little read, but it's a great resource to keep on hand and it will help you to get started. Teach, teaching from Rest, A Homeschooler's Guide to Unshakable Peace. This is a very popular book as well. And again, it's a quick read and a great resource to have. Now, those are some books that you could get. Um, some online resources that you might want to check out. Uh, KathyDuffyReviews.com. She does a great job of um, really breaking down all kinds of curriculum. You can get on there and just look up classical to get ideas. She will tell you what age groups, if it's um, heavy or light on the parent teaching. Um, she will tell you the, the teaching style, the learning style, a lot of information there. Um, another source that you can look at online is HSLDA. That's Homeschool Legal Defense Association. Uh, dot org. Um, they have lots of articles on getting started on the different teaching styles, uh, guidelines for teaching um, for your particular state that you live in, which is important to find out as well. So there are different homeschool teaching styles and there is everything from tr traditional to classical to Charlotte Mason to unschooling and on and on and on. Um, so this is the classical approach that we've been talking about today. Um, you're going to choose on, based on how you were taught, uh, your personality, your lifestyle, and mostly you and your spouse's goals for your children. Your teaching method can change as your journey continues, and it can even become a mix, and that's okay. That's what I ended up doing, and it was great. So do your research, talk to others, ask questions and give it a try for a year and see if it fits you and your family best. So what questions do you have? What advice or tips do you have if you use the classical or you are currently using the classical method? I hope this has been helpful. Please visit Mardell.com and our stores to buy curriculum. Check out our blog articles and YouTube and Facebook videos for more information. Thank you for watching and spending this time with me. I would love to hear from you. Have a great day and enjoy your homeschool life.